Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest dot com, and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful pair of winter white Fender guitar pick earrings, and these would make lovely Christmas earrings. And these were so inexpensive to put together, I think you'll be really surprised. So stay tuned, and I'll show you exactly what you need to make these. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need are some of these white Fender guitar picks. Now these are really pretty. You can see the Fender name on them. But if you look at them, they almost look like uh, a mother of pearl shell. And you can find a lot of these on eBay. Just type in the words uh, white guitar picks or white Fender guitar picks. Now I purchased 12 of these from a US seller and he was selling them for three dollars and fifty nine cents with free shipping and I received them within about six days uh, this person is in Wisconsin and he has a hundred percent feedback he spells his name G U I T A R O W L guitar owl and I was very pleased with my purchase they did have sellers in China but I didn't want to take the chance of having to wait two months before I received them. And he does sell 12 of them for that $3.59 price. I'll have the link to the seller on my blog. I'm sorry I can't post the link here on my YouTube video. I don't want to take the chance of um, my channel being shut down. So, you know, it's just a personal thing. Um, I know that some others do it, but. I just don't want to take that chance. So, um, with that said, I will show you how to make the holes. Okay, so we're going to make some holes at the top and at the bottom. And honestly, it doesn't matter if you want your earring to hang this direction or this direction. It's just a personal choice, and I'm going to make that choice for me after we're finished um, doing what we need to do on this. Now this is just um, one of those charcoal pencils that I bought at the Dollar Tree in a package of three. And it's a dark one of course. And I'm just going to put a little dot right at the top in the center where I think my punch needs to be. Now you may not be able to see it from um, where I did it, but I can definitely see this, okay. Then I'm going to take my bottle cap hole punch. bought this a few years back on eBay, but I'm sure they also have it on um, Amazon as well. And I'm going to punch a hole right there where I drew my little mark, okay. Just like that. See? Now to avoid one earring hanging up and the other earring hanging down, kind of cockeyed, I'm going to lay this right on top of a second little guitar pick. I'm going to make sure it's nice and even with the top. And then I'm going to punch through that hole that we made on the first one. Okay? And it punches very easily. I just have to kind of work it off a little bit. The, the guitar pick, I mean. See? And so now we have two even holes. So one earring won't hang higher than the other. Now you're going to do the same thing at the bottom for the charm. You want to make it low enough to where you can use a jump ring through here to hang your little um, charm but you don't want to make it so low that um, that it'll cut through right here at the bottom. So it can be tricky. And if you have a good eye, you can do this and just kind of see exactly where you marked it. And I think that's pretty good right there. So I'm going to Take my hole punch right over that mark 
and punch it. And it does go through just like butter when I use this hole punch, but I have to kind of turn it to kind of um, get it off there. <laughs> there we go. See? The holes are nice and even. So I'm going to take my second little guitar pick, make sure it's nice and even, just like that. I'm going to go through that hole I just made for the second one. And I'm just going to do it. And so we have these two. Okay, turned out just right. Okay. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need are some 16 millimeter little buttons. And you can find these um, little buttons, the little rhinestone ones at Walmart, or you can order them online on eBay like I did. Just type in the words pearl rhinestone buttons, 16 millimeter, and a bunch should pop up for you. And you can also use little hearts and if you use a little heart I would definitely turn it around like this and place the heart on it like that. That would be really pretty. Um, you can use a little resin rose or something like that on here but we're making this in kind of a, a, a white, a winter white Christmas theme. So um, I thought 16 millimeter worked very nicely on these. So that, these are just some examples. I'm going to use E6000 in the little tube here. And I'm going to put some E6000 on this. And then place it right in the middle. And then I'm going to lay it flat to allow it to dry. Make sure this doesn't slip around, that you have it on a nice flat surface okay and I'm going to do the same thing with this one put some E6000 on it and place this just like so these really are nice earrings to make for Christmas very easy to I think for the beginning jewelry maker, this would be an excellent project. Okay, so please allow this to dry for at least 24 hours minimum. Um, probably would even be better after 48, but I know that a lot of people are impatient, so I'm going to say 24 hours. And once that's thoroughly dry, We'll come back and we'll add the ear wire and I'll show you um, what I did for the little charm. And of course if you don't want to make your charms you can always go to Joann's and buy the pre-made charms that are in packages or Michael's and they also have um, charms that are pre-made online as well at uh, on eBay or AliExpress. So with that said I'm going to allow these to dry for 24 hours and then I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, these have dried completely and these are on there rock hard. Okay, so now we're going to be placing some little charms at the bottom of our earrings. And I made these little charms out of an 8mm acrylic pearl and two 8 millimeter bead caps. And I did find the acrylic pearls at the Dollar General. I was visiting Arkansas about um, a year ago and I picked up this bag. I think it was less than three dollars. So um, I'm just going to use a five millimeter jump ring. You can use a six millimeter if you don't have a five millimeter. But um, we're just going to open it up and put this on our little earring part here. 
Now I was highly debating whether I wanted to hang the charm on the earring this direction, pointy part down, or the wide part down that direction. But I decided I'm going to be doing it this way. To me it just looked better. But once again that is a personal choice. So um, you know you do what you think looks best. Okay, so the five millimeter seems to work very well on this. And I'll go ahead and put the other one on the other this charm on the other earring as well. If I can grasp it. <laughs> These are so little. Okay. There we go. And of course, if you don't want to make your own little charms, you can purchase them pre-made online, places like eBay, or you can purchase them at a craft store. The jewelry section generally has little charms you can dangle from here that are pre-made. Okay, I just want to make sure it's closed. No, it's not. I have a hard time seeing sometimes with these glasses. Okay, there we go. So now we have two of these. So the only thing left are the ear wires. So I'm using these ear wires. And with the ear wires, I always um, like to buy them silver plated. Let's see, am I doing this right? No. Here we go. So I'm just going to close this up like that. So we have our beautiful winter white Fender guitar pick earrings and I think they would make an absolutely lovely Christmas gift. And I don't know if you can see these very well with the lighting in here, but they really are pretty. And the silver is a, a nice bright color. It's, it's not dark. I'm hoping the camera is not picking it up as being really dark. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I appreciate each and every one of you for watching and thank you so much and God bless you and have a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.